Well, hello, hello, hello. You know, I uh, did a stream a while back. Um, it'll be uh, both videos be up here. I did a Matrix one and I did one about transhumanism. It was uh, about four months ago, I do believe, that I was talking about lab grown babies. This was part of the thing also with the WEF things that they were thinking about doing. And this is perfect because this is in the range of them, um, you know, indoctrinating the children to be LGBTQ. And uh, there will be no more straight marriages where babies can be born. So the best way for them to do this is to lab grow them. If you watch the Matrix stream that will come up on the end of it, this is similar to the Matrix, how humans were growing in wombs and uh, we pretty much lived in a digital world, which is the way we are heading with digital currency already starting to take place in certain countries and uh, still looming to start here. Uh, you know, there was the rumor for a while it was supposed to start December 13th here. So it's just a matter of time before it does happen. But um, you might think this is a movie, uh, what we're talking about. But um, a lot of things that's been in our movies are coming alive. So let's talk about it. The world's first artificial womb facility can incubate up to 30,000 lab-grown babies a year. Uh, this is pretty uh, alarming. It says on Friday, a German molecular biologist by trade unveiled a new concept for the world's first artificial womb facility, uh, the Eto Life. Um, this could incubate up to 30,000 babies a year. My new conception uh, will be unveiled earlier in December. So it's going to be unveiled here really soon. We're in the month of December. Uh, today's the 13th. So <clears throat> you can only. Imagine this is going to happen pretty soon. It says, with this, premature births and C-sections will be a thing of the past. Um, I don't know about you, but um, my son was premature, and it was um, awesome to see um, the miracle that God could do through a two-pound baby and watch him live and have no problems. Um, here we are, once again, trying to play God. Uh, we've done many streams. A lot of people that followed this, uh, this this YouTube channel for the two years we've been here. Uh, it took a while to get uh, noticed by the algorithm, but uh, we, we've done quite a few streams talking about things that are leading towards the end times, and this is one of them. We already know that uh, in, in Romans 1, uh, they will not have... Um, the affection to be with one another. I'm paraphrasing, of course. Uh, they'll be given over to a reprobate mind, and uh, you know, men will burn for men and women for women, and uh, that means babies won't be made. So they're already working their way towards this. I'm not going to put a lot of this uh, on the bottom. It says fair use act. I'm not going to play a lot of this here, but here is a little bit of it. <laughs> Introducing Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility, powered entirely by renewable energy. Ectolife allows infertile couple to conceive a baby and become the true biological parents of their own offspring. It's a perfect solution for women who had their uterus surgically removed due to cancer or other complications. With Ectolife... Now, of course... They're saying this to help with certain people, but I still do not agree with this. This is um, this is one of them right here uh, from um, this is a picture that was on um, Twitter. Sorry, couldn't think for a second. This was a picture that was on Twitter that uh, around three thousand women die from pregnancy complications. Now the World Health Organization they're saying this is a way to get rid of it um all ultimately it's just a way of playing god i will put the links in the description um but if anyone's seen the movie matrix this is this is straight up from the movie matrix pretty much i mean you know we're, we're lab growing humans um and and it wouldn't be too far-fetched to say that robots will be taking care of them because um, it's going to have to take robots to take care of them. 
Um, this is just uh, some of the weird stuff that we keep seeing um, society push. Um, and I, I, I just, it, it's going to keep getting uh, worse and worse on what they push. And, you know, we've already talked about um, Elon Musk, um, Neuralink and all that quite a few times. And uh, it might sound like a broken record, but at the same point in time, it is something that is um, they're they're in the push for. And I I I could see it happen before. Um, I I personally don't even think the world's going to be around anymore by then. I feel that uh, the end times are a lot closer than a lot of people think. So, um, but. This isn't too far fetched uh, away on a date here that ageless um, hybrids could come. H humans could become a downloadable brain, pretty much. Uh, the chip in the brain uh, connected to the internet and AI, um, mind controlled uh, drones, um, implants for perfect vision, ageless face thanks to treatments. Uh, this is where we stop the aging process. This is trying to play God. Uh, the bionic enhancement organs, uh, strength boosting. Um, and th th this is straight up just for movies here. I mean, right, right here it says cyborgs. We would be like cyborgs, my friends. And uh, Elon Musk um, is really pushing for this Neuralink uh, to do a lot of these things. And um, the link will be in the description. I want to um, pull up a couple Bible verses um just because we got to go to our bible for this so let me go to first genesis 1 27 it says so god created man in his own image in the image of god he created him male and female he created them um here we are trying to play our own god trying to do this and um we're gonna go to matthew real quick matthew 10 verse 28 it says and do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell this is the one we should be fearing um I'm only reading these Bible verses to say, my friends, do not fear with the things we see. I, I know, um, you know, like Ephesians says, to expose the dark with the light. I expose a lot of these things, and sometimes it can be really hard for people to grasp and understand. But I'm, I'm only saying this to get closer to Christ, and you'll become more comfortable with the things and realize we are not of this world. In Romans 8, verse 9, it says, but you are not in the flesh but in the spirit if indeed the spirit of god dwells in you now if anyone does not have the spirit of christ he is not his we're going to be seeing this with a lot of lab grown children I, I i'm very sorry to say it but i remember i read a book some years ago um from a mary Kay baxter um she wrote this back from a vision she had from jesus back in 1970 and a lot of this is pretty irrelevant with what is going on. Um, that, you know, there was just children being controlled by computers and uh, people were just uh, mindless. And uh, it's pretty much what we're seeing here. Now, look, in Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. That's why we need to stay very confident because we know that God is the true one in control. And we need to not be worrying about what the people are doing. Revelation 22, verse 11. He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be holy still. So my friends, do not let these people in this world continue to make us feel like we are lost because if we are of christ we are not of flesh we are of the spirit and we can endure the things that are going on in this world and to know that we are victors through our lord jesus christ through our savior through god the father abba he has given us a way and um 
let's pray that a lot of people do not try to go in this other way. Now, remember also, um, in the book of, um, I think, 2 Timothy, it says, forbidding to marry. This is talking about end times, chapter 3, for forbidding them to marry. So, um, you know, growing children um, could go in the lines of that as well. Why? Because a lot of, um, well, if we're looking at a biblical aspect, we're supposed to be married once we have children. So once we uh, veer away from having um, children um being in a marriage and grown within a human womb where they can feel their mother's heartbeat, where they can feel their mother's emotions and feelings to know what love feels like. Uh, it's going to be like a um, generation of children that have no emotions because they're just going to be grown by AI and computers. And we already see that children are controlled by computers already. Um, you know, my, my children, they, um, because of homeschool, sometimes computers is a thing, but they're very limited. Uh, a lot of people see our two kids, uh, Leanne and Junior, at nine and six, and they see that they play with a lot of toys. Well, because we don't like them to be indoctrinated by technology and brainwashed by it. We want them to play and be children and run around and to know what it feels like to be a kid. Um, the world's missing that in today's era. They're missing it uh, big time. So may God bless you all. Keep your heads up. We fight from victory, not from defeat. And uh, I will be on tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern um, to do the seven uh, seals, the seven trumpets, and seven bowls or vials uh, of, of the wrath of God. Um, it's an end-time eschatology um, teaching tonight. Uh, a lot of people really love the end times to talk about it, but also I think it's because a lot of people are afraid of the end times and it's nothing to fear. So may God bless you.